Welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And if you are using your computer one or two hours a day just for work, like this mini computer that I've got right over here from Billink, the Series 5 with the AMD 5800U, which is a really nice computer, then probably we should think on how we can use it more intensively and especially being able to have a multimedia server that will be able to stream content to all our devices, mobile phones, Android TV boxes and whatnot. So if this is your case, let's follow along a video tutorial, which is really, really simple. And by the end of this video, you will be able to use your computer not only for work, but also to entertain your family, yourself and your friends, because this will also work outside your home network. Now, I'll be using the Billink Series 5 AMD 5800U, which is a really nice, powerful mini computer. It comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR4, but if we feel the need, later on we can upgrade to 32, which I did with Sabrent Memories. We have two slots available. We can also upgrade the main SSD, which is a NVMe SSD. I did upgrade with one with two terabytes from Sabrent as well, and it also has some that it's really important in my opinion which is the extra storage here I can place in a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD which I did with a s3 plus SSD but we can also connect a hard drive a regular hard drive with 2.5 inches which is a bit cheaper and I could use my Toshiba for example but I did choose on this particular project to use the s3 plus so this is all we need the only advice that I do give if you already have your computer is pay attention to the power consumption. In this particular case, the billing consumes only 5 to 8 watts, and if we push it really hard playing games and so on and so forth, it will go about 20 watts or so. So just check out how much your computer consumes, because if it consumes a lot of power, then probably it will be more expensive at the end of the month than contracting Spotify, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and so on and so forth. Now, that being said, let's follow along. The first thing that we need, we already have a mini computer with Windows 10 or 11. In this particular case, we have Windows 11 Pro. Now, let's go to Google and search for Plex TV. And once we find the website, just select Plex Server to download and install on our machine as we would install any other software. So, so far, really, really easy. Once the installation finishes, it will open automatically our browser and either we have an account or we will need to create one if we have an account probably you are not watching this video but if you don't then you just need to create in this step you will need to do it alone and once you create your username and password you may do the login and follow along now this will be the page that we will manage our server and don't be afraid to close that page because when you need in the future to manage your server once again you just need to go to the taskbar and on the right bottom corner you will find the plex server just double click and it will open the page once again so that we can manage it now the initial configuration is really simple we just need to go through a few basic questions where we have our library or the folder that we have our movies and series and so on and so forth so i did select my s3 plus two terabytes ssd i did place in three movies just for this example and basically we just need to select the folder that has the movies or series or music and on the initial screen of plex server once we configure it we will see that it has a lot of content populated now some of that content comes from Plex, which is free and some of that content is aggregate services like Amazon Prime, Netflix and Disney Plus and so on and so forth but that is not what we want in this particular case. In this particular case we want to take care of our own content. So what we will be able to see as well is that the three movies that we placed simply on a folder, Plex organized them with the artwork with all the information about the movies and so on and so forth so it looks really nice it has a great appearance and right now we have our server with already three movies working to any device that we want now in my particular case i did install on my iphone and also on the samsung galaxy s22 to show two different scenarios right over here one of which was my iphone on the local network was not transcoding so the impact on the machine was really really low you can be playing games and you will not notice that I am accessing the Plex server to watch movies or series. 
On the other hand, I did try out with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition and I did connect to the outside connectivity, not the local 4G connection, which will force the server to transcode that particular video. And that just means that the server will pick a 4K resolution or 1080 resolution movie and it will transcode to a smaller format to be able to pass through smoothly to that connection that we are using outside, in this particular case, 4G. And that is where we will feel some impact on the machine. As you can see right over there on the AMD 5800U, what happens is that there is a spike initially when it starts to transcode, but after a while it will normalize and it will go down to 20s, 10% of usage, so no issues whatsoever if you want to have a machine such as this and if you want to give access to three for people outside of your network then just awesome inside our network we are almost unlimited well, not unlimited because the gigabit ethernet connection might be a problem if we have 100 devices at the same time and if those files are huge then cpu ram and storage great but the ethernet connection might not be enough to stream 400 devices but i would say that five seven ten devices at the same time no issues whatsoever depending on the bandwidth that the movie as now this is ready to be used as a server and if it's your computer that it's on your office then leave it as it is just use it to work when you need and the rest of the time it will be your server nonetheless if this computer is similar to this one or exactly this one right over here which looks really nice and you want to put it on your living room or on your bedroom then besides being a server let's use it as a player as well and for that we just need to go to Plex once again but instead of downloading this server version let's download the player version just install it and once we install it log in and we will have access to the movies that we have on our library by the way for those that are installing plex for the first time once we have our movies we don't need to go to the management to add more movies we just need to bring movies to that particular folder and plex will regroup them will grab all the information from the web and we'll place them on a really nice way that we can see on any device that we have now if we are using this computer as a player as well i would suggest one of these remotes that we have reviewed about one or two years ago it's in my opinion the best remote for windows computers that we use for multimedia i will try to leave a link right over here on the youtube card so that you can check it out and this will give us a better experience on the computer instead of using a keyboard and a mouse and so on and so forth and that is it hopefully this video which was a small video tutorial or guide was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.